the 62 Pro series. We're going to take a look at the 62 Pro D. This is one of our top of the line laminators. You'll see some of the reasons why in just a moment. Take a look at one now. For instance, our lower su supply shaft here has an additional lock on the end that assures media stability, making sure the media stays on the shaft and the shaft doesn't move. There are five unwind take-ups with this, including three combi shafts. Now, what's a combi shaft? makes this laminator quite unique because it can be used as a take-up or unwind shaft. Each is clearly marked for the process you're interested in using it for. Now let's take a close look at the control panel which is very easy to understand and use. Clearly marked buttons and dials make it easy to start learning quickly. Forward, reverse, speed control, snail mode, all are included in this top of the line product. As you change the variable pressure nip, you'll see a response on the control panel itself. Turn the nip pressure, and the pressure is indicated on the control panel. Up to an inch and a half nip gap allows you to do numerous different applications. Upper and lower roller heaters are displayed digitally, making heat settings accurate. The optional productivity pack has been added to this machine, and that includes an efficient end feed table. If needed, you can lift the media guide right from the table. or lower it when you're rolling it through some of the hard medias or thicker medias. In addition, we've added rollers on the front that assist you in feeding images smoothly and flat, making sure you get the best laminating possible. We've even added a tension brake to apply a little back tension on the image to make sure you get the best results possible. Now if you need to thread the machine or check the webbing, just lift the table up. It's spring-loaded making it easy to do and giving you free access to the rollers or the lower supply shafts. We've added another tray to the front of the feed table that will allow you to put rolled images in and feed them easily and smoothly through the laminator. Just place them in the tray Line them up and get started. If the tray is not needed, snap it back down and out of the way. Well, the back of the laminator has also got some great features.
instance, as part of the productivity pack, slitters can be added. This makes trimming of the final product almost automatic. Move them to the width you want, engage the blades, and the trimming takes place as the images come out of the laminator. The fan bank has also been added beneath the rollers to cool the heated processes. And rear pull rollers can be used to assist in smoothly pulling images through to finish. Just lift them up to engage, and your images will be pulled through smoothly, giving you the best possible results. Lower the rollers and put the table over them for hard medias. Each process has been thoroughly thought through to make sure you get the best results in feeding and in finishing.